Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, we have all these NBA players right here and we're gonna determine if they have any plot. Are they a main character? Do they have good plot, bad plot, or to be determined? Um, if you don't know what plot is, it's basically what's your luck? Like, are you a person who tends to get lucky, wins NBA championships, good things tend to happen to them, or are you very unlucky, bad things tend to happen to you, etc. So you'll get it. If you don't get it now, you'll definitely get it as I do this. But hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video and let's hop right into it. First and foremost, we're gonna do this quickly. We got Steph Curry right here. Steph Curry, you know, honestly, a lot of people were trying to figure out who's a new main character and no one has stepped up in my opinion. Steph Curry definitely was the main character, revolutionized the game, would win championships a lot of times in the most lucky way. People getting injured, Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard, Kyrie Irving. I mean, he a main character. Luka Doncic, I'm gonna put you at to be determined. He just made the NBA Finals. I don't know. He had a hell of a run going to the finals, but then he they underperformed mightily. So I don't know yet. We're gonna have to maybe see a little longer with him. Damian Lillard got bad plot. His plot's atrocious, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um Ja Morant. Um uh, man. I would say to, to be determined, but the way like his off the field, off the court, I mean type behaviors and all the things that happened to him. I'm going to say he got bad plot. I'm also going to say Trey Young got bad plot. He had that one run to the conference finals, and that was dope. But after that, things went out. Darren Fox, I'm going to say to be determined. Tyrese Halliburton to be determined. Uh, Darius Garland. These guys definitely to be determined. I don't know. They, they haven't shown me enough. Uh, Drew Holiday, he has good plot. He goes, he's won two championships. He's a championship level player. He's definitely a guy who should be on the good plot list. James Harden is the king, at least one of them, of bad plot. His plot is atrocious, and you know it every year. Game six next year, he's going to shoot two for 18. I promise. He got bad plot. It's atrocious. Jalen Brunson, I'm say to be determined. I haven't seen enough of you as a main star. Uh, my man, Marcus Smart. I think he's still a good player for a role team. Role, you know, a good role player, but we have to see more. Um, Chris Paul, he is just he's right with his buddy, James Harden. His plot is absolutely atrocious. Melo Ball, he's on a terrible franchise, but I'm going to put you at to be determined. I'm going to say CJ McCollum, your plot is not good. Um, I know it's like, well, hey, you know, he hasn't played that much. Well, he has played a long time, but he's like, he's not a, like the main guy on the team, but he's made some bad, bad moments for sure. And I, he deserves to be on there. And Devin Booker, he'll be right there with them. And Donovan Mitchell, honestly, I think he'll be right there with him too. I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like he should be there. I feel like that makes sense. Um, Shea Gilgis to be determined. I gotta see a little more of you. Jalen Brown, we put you at good plot. They just won the NBA championship. They're not no main characters, but he just won finals MVP. Kyrie Irving is interesting because like he had a lot of bad plot moments between his good plot moments. And then it's like you know, he wasn't good in the postseason. I mean the finals. He was good in the postseason, not in the finals this year. I'm gonna put you at good for now. It could change. I'm not gonna lie, but he, that he did something good this year to make it go up. So put you right there. Um, Paul George applies atrocious. Brandon Ingram. I don't know. I'm saying to be determined. I think. Yeah. I, I don't know what you've shown me to like, affect that. Um, Anthony Edwards. He was a guy that everyone thought was gonna be a main character or something, but you know we don't know yet. I'm not gonna lie. Most of these people are gonna be down here, so I'm gonna just move my thing. Uh, to be determined. To be determined. His plot's bad. To be determined, your plot, Bradley Beal's plot is awful. Tyler Heroes, to be determined. Um, you know, Jordan Poole, tricky, because Jordan Poole, one of those players that I'm like, he won a championship, but after the championship, things got really rough. I'm gonna say to be determined, I don't know. He won a championship, but how rough it's been after, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna question it. Jason Tatum, he has good plot. He was not gonna have it at first, but he definitely has it now. Kawhi Leonard, it's tricky as well, because Kawhi Leonard, I mean, he has good plot, but then he went to the Clippers and his plot went down a freaking shaft. But that makes sense because the Clippers have the worst plot in history. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just you know I'm put you for right now a good plot. But you really are like you're really you're really living off those two championships. Jimmy Butler, I'm not. That's tricky because he takes he overachieves in the playoffs, but he still loses. But he don't lose like in terrible fashion. But he does lose. I'm gonna put you. I'm not gonna put you too. I'm gonna put you at bad plot, but it's not as bad as others. Like you definitely have to rank him. But he still loses at the end of the day. Marty Rosen's plot is atrocious. Andrew Wiggins, I'm saying you got a good plot, man. You won a championship and you were a key part of it. You um to be determined. Chris Milton, I'm saying you had a good plot because you were part of a championship. Lori, not Lori, what I'm talking about. This is Wagner. Uh, this is Franz Wagner. He made a lot of money, 200 plus million dollars. Oh my gosh. I'm saying to be determined. He had a terrible, I remember, I think he had a terrible game seven, but that's fine. Mikhail Bridges, to be determined. Lori Markinen. You know, a lot of these guys, RJ Barrett, I'm going to say, even though I don't see him really building a lot of plot, 
um, you know, a lot of these guys to be determined, right? I'm going to just go ahead and throw you in here. Dylan Brooks, I'm going to put you at bad plot, though, because they cooked you when you were on the Grizzlies. They shot and cooked you like crazy, boy. They sh And it was rough. That last year on the Grizzlies, it was no siree. So definitely don't want to do that. Um, Buddy Hill to be determined. Giannis is a good plot guy, right? Like his team, he went to the finals, won a finals MVP. He had like a 50 point game and like perfect from free throw line almost. He, he definitely had a great. And I mean, he hasn't had a lot of moments after that, but he's living off that championship, so good for him. Kevin Durant, I'm putting you at bad plot though. And the only reason I'm doing that, they'd be like, well, Jesse, he has two championships. Well, he went to join the main character to get him. And after that, he hasn't done anything, and he has. Steph Curry has. He hasn't. That's an indictment. LeBron, we still gonna put you at main character. I know, like, I'm waiting for someone to take these two off the, you know, pedestal. But none of the young guys. We'll see. Hey, maybe Jason Tatum. But he didn't win Finals MVP, so that kind of hurt that. But maybe Jason Tatum's the guy to take it. Zion, I'm gonna low key put you at bad plot. Like your whole career has been very underwhelming. Whether it was injuries or, you know, like weight problems or something. There's always something wrong with Zion Williamson. So I'm going to put you at bad plot, but you can definitely get out of that. Jaron Jackson, now you haven't done anything to be to be determined. Julius Randle, I'm putting you at bad plot. I just feel like, yo, the way you played that one playoff series against Atlanta was so ridiculous that you got to be right there. Um, Paolo, you know, we're going to have to learn more about you. Towns, I'm going to put you here for now, but we can definitely adjust. But, I mean, his career to me has also been pretty underwhelming. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, he has a championship. I'm gonna say to be determined. I don't know. He hasn't. It's been rough where he's at, but yeah, I'm. You know, I don't know. We'll put you here. Aaron Gordon, you got good plot. You were key cog in one, a very, very great championship team. We'll put you at the good plot spot. Uh, Evan Mobley, you have a no. Al Horford took a long time, boy, but he got his ring, and I'm proud. We're happy for him. You know, he finally got his ring after so many years. Draymond Green has a good plot as well, playing with Steph Curry. My man doesn't have any plot yet. Nikola Jokic, definitely on the good plot. I thought he low-key had a chance of being a main character, but he ain't got the personality for it. You have to have a personality to be the main character as well. Joel Embiid has atrocious plot. His plot is atrocious. It's very bad. Um, he's the oldest, the only MVP never to make the conference finals. How Halliburton made the conference finals before you? It's rough. Eddie Davis. Um, I'm gonna say you have good plot, but it's definitely you're definitely just that bubble rings the one that's carrying you for that. You definitely have a great, you know, like a, a case for bad plot, but we're gonna keep it simple for you. Bam out of boy, yo. Um, he don't got good plot. He got he don't got bad plot to me. I think he did to, to be determined. I don't know. Like is like Jay Butler the the main guy on the team, so when they lose, it gets hit more, but. Bam is not a guy I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get him. You know, he's he did this in LA. Bam has a bad game. We're not going to really talk about it. Siakam, I'm going to give you a good plot. You had, you was, he was very important in that Toronto Raptor team. And, you know, he, he was, it was good. Like, we'll give you a good plot. I'm going to say you to be determined. Brooke Lopez got a ring being very key to, you know, good plot to be determined. Christos Porzingis, good job for leaving that terrible team that you're currently wearing the uniform right here in. And he went to Boston and things got lit. Robert Williams, he got traded away. I'm, I'm putting you at bad plot because you are injury prone out of your mind. And he got traded to an oblivion spot. So I'm so sorry for you. So you ain't got no plot. I'm saying Rudy Gobert is bad plot. When his, his career in Utah and Minnesota, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say his plot's bad. He could change it. Y'all can all change it. Everyone can change up and down somehow. But I'm going to put you at bad plot. Um, De DeAndre Ayton, his plot's also atrocious. Yeah, he, yeah. I ain't gotta talk too much about that. His plot's really bad. Um, my man Miles Turner, he's right here, and Christian Christian Wood, his plot's also pretty bad. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's my list. So we got two main characters. Someone gotta knock these guys off their pedestal. These guys on the good plots part, you know, they won a championship or a very key role player in the championship team. They did a really good job, and you can't look at them and say, dang, they're, they're, like they got a ring and it's a good ring, you know what I'm saying? So good for y'all, these guys right here. People in the bad plot, I mean, their career has been just some BS has happened in their life. Maybe they had one decent run or two, but you know, they lost and they lost in horrible fashion. Or in this man's case, he was he had two really good runs, but that's because he was playing with the main character and since then it's been hell. And these guys, I mean, you know, literally like next year can determine like Luca and Anthony Edwards, they can really determine to me 
what they're at. Jalen Brunson, I, I got to see another year of these guys' development to see if they belong either on bad plot or good plot, or maybe they stay to be determined. Um, but if you agree with my list, if you don't agree with my list, make sure to comment down below. Like I said, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like the video. It really helps the algorithm. Just push it out to other people who likes basketball just like yourself. So make sure to like this video. And honestly, I think you'll like this video right here. This video is another tier ranking list where I rank all of the current NBA teams after the free agency and the draft where they're going to be in 2025. So check out that video if you like this one. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.